Gravel to me has meant opportunity, an opportunity that I didn't anticipate getting into when I first stepped away from the sport of cycling. I think, uh, I mean, I retired in 2015 at the end of that year, and, and that was the beginning of this burgeoning gravel scene, and, and it's, it's, it's been this sort of rebirth in, the, in a place that I never expected. It's the intersection of everything great about riding a bike. You get a little bit of the seriousness of competition mixed with the complete opposite of seriousness in that it's adventure and lifestyle and it's about being outside and enjoying friendships and pushing yourself however hard you want to push yourself and seeing new places. I hope they come away with stories. I mean, that's the most memorable rides that I've been on are the ones that I constantly refer back to with friends and we're like, remember that time when? There's a long list of reasons that we wanted to promote an event. I guess first there was interest from others asking us to if we were going to put on an event after kind of being intrigued by the media we we're putting out about being in Vermont. It is, you know, in a state with more dirt roads than paid. I think it was obvious this is a place that would be fantastic for a gravel event. Um, but I think also the sense of community we have felt in moving here was behind the name Rooted and how rooted we felt. We wanted to give back to our community. We wanted to be a part of our community, bring something great and exciting to our town of Richmond. Um, but we also every day just felt like this is a place worth showing off. This is a place we want to just bring our friends and go for an awesome ride and have good food. and. Um, you know, yes, we could do that on a small scale and probably would, but why not, why not do it with our greater circle of friends? Thank you. Oh my god, congratulations. That was awesome. Oh. Oh